All right. Um, today I will make a permutation videos to discuss about these two similar question. Of course, one of these question is uh, this year the most one of the most famous question in SBN MF, which is a uh, question twenty two in paper one. Uh, yeah, this is the SBM 2019 MF questions about how to reset the passcode of your phone. And then because in order to like fully understand what this question want, so I try to find some similar question so that I can compare. So after compare, then maybe I can know what the examiner really want. So because when I first read this question, right, basically they, they tell me, okay, so you have a uh, phone passcode which is 0131 and then the and then the person actually he want to reset the passcode such that the new passcode cannot conceive from DD1 followed by the DD3. Alright, so right now I I feel like I'm like teaching the English class over here because of the word ter here. So I'm thinking maybe they only want to use these four digits and change around. Because if you ask me in the real world scenario, if my my phone over here, I can put any number I want in it. I can put any number from zero to nine to uh, for my passcode. But I guess because they say they want to reset the passcode, so definitely the the passcode actually they mentioned about this number zero one three one. So they reset the passcode. Is it same with they want to rearrange the passcode or not? Then in order to find out. The answer for this, so when I do some research, I find out the similar question, which is the MRSM 2018 question five for paper one. This question actually, they give you a, a car number, so which is like QKL7025, and then they ask you to find a number of different way of the vehicle register number can be formed by using the three letter followed by the four digits. So, and then I check the, mark, the marking scheme multiple times because the words, maybe it's because they use the words the, so therefore the letter I can only use Q, K, and L, and the number I can only use 7, 0, 2, and 5. Because when I first see this question, my common sense is okay, I can use any 26 letter from A to Z, A to Z for three of them. And then when I do finish already and I check the marking scheme, my answer is different with the marking scheme. One of the reasons because I guess it's because they want using the three letter followed by the four digits. So therefore, in order to do this question, right, how I will do is something like this. Um, I only use the Q, K, and L here. And then if I want to arrange these three Q, Q K, L here, it's just 3 factorial. Or you can say 3P3, it's the same thing. Alright, but the, but the problem for the vehicle register number is we cannot start at 0. We cannot start at 0. So that's been the first digits over here because I want to follow by 4 digits number, right? The first digits over here cannot have 0. So I can have any other choice, 7, 2, or 5. But I cannot put the 0 as my first digit. And then the next four digits, so no matter what number I choose for my first digit, example, if I choose two here, if I choose the two here, then my next one, I definitely I have another three more choice, isn't it? I can have zero, seven, and five. So I so here I have three way, here I have another three way. You might ask me, what if the first number you choose is a five here? You, if I choose the five over here, the second place over here, I still have 0, 7, and 2. So I still have a three way. So no matter what number I choose in the first place, the second place over here, I still have a three way because later I need to multiply them. So if I put a 7 here, definitely I left 0 and 2 in it. If I put a 0 here, I, I only left a 2 here, I only left a 2 here, only right? So I only left a 2 here, so it's in one way. So I will just multiply this one. And then I will get my correct answer. 3 factorial because I arranged QKL. I will write a 3-way because there's 3 numbers for me to choose one of it. Or you can 
imagine you can write as 3C1 if you want. So this one is the same. I have three number here. I want to choose one or you can write 3P1 also can. You still get this three here. So two number here, I choose one. And one number here, I only have one way. So normally I think that three way, three way, two way and one way. And then I multiply all of them and then I get 108. And then this is the answer uh, in the marking scheme, which is correct. Okay, because I did this question before, so when I come back to this SBM question, then I ask myself, because here they doesn't say they want to use the digits number, the four digits number, because they only say the passcode. The passcode, obviously they say about, they want to reset this passcode, and then, and then they say a new passcode cannot consist of digit one followed by digit three. So now actually I'm quite struggled, should I only use this four digits number, or, I can use any number from 0 to 9 as I want. So, obviously, um, if you ask me, because the question actually do doesn't say very clear, they want to use these four digits or not. So my first sense is, I will not use the four digits. But over here, I will show you two different methods. One is, if you are using this four digit number, you will get one answer. If you are doesn't you mean you imagine you can use any number as your phone, you can set any password as you like, then we'll have another methods. Right, so, okay. So over here, I'm going to call the first case is a real world scenario. Okay, that's mean in the real world because if I set, if, if I set my phone passcode, definitely I can put any number I want. All right, so I have four digits over here. So let's say, the, if, because if I can set my own passcode, I can put all the passcodes the same number in it. That means first thing is, the number can be repeat. So if the number can be repeat, right, 0 to 9, we have 10 digits. So therefore, the first over here, this is 10 way, 10 way, 10 way, 10 way. Or you can, you can think something like 10 number, you choose one to put into here, you do 10 C1, you still get a 10, and I multiplied all of them. So this is a 10,000 way of arranging uh, the four digits number. But we still have some condition, right? Because the question say what? The question say, the new passcode cannot consist digit one followed by the digit three. So I will just work out all the scenario. If this is four digits, right? Let's say one and three over here. One followed by three. Because now I'm going to use a total to minus the probability I do not want. Uh, to minus number of way I do not want. Because I do not want one followed by three, right? So I want to know what's, uh, what is the number of way over here. So if I put the one in the first number, three in my second number, my third number I can, uh, I just assume I can put any number I want. Okay, so, so this 10 way and 10 way. Alright, you might ask over here, what if these two number, I put a 1, 3 again? Because if I put a 1, 3, I actually doesn't fulfill that condition, right? You are right. So therefore, I will minus that method also, 1, 3 here. This is what you worry just now, right? Yeah, so I will minus this one also. This, so over here, you have 100. So over here, this is one way, one way you can multiply them if you want, but one times one is still equals to one, so I will just ignore them. So this one, same idea, 10 way, multiply 10 way, multiply one and multiply one. So this is another 100. But definitely I can put my one and three, one followed by three at the middle, isn't it? So you should know this one is another 100. So yeah, this is all the possibility when they say one followed by three. Okay, because for one followed by three, right, we can ex we can accept the three one. Because three one is not one followed by three. The one is three followed by one. It's not the same. Because some students might think one, three, and three one, is it the same or what? So in this case, they only say they cannot accept the digit one followed by three. So it's only these three chances. Then definitely I will use my 10,000 to minus the 300 over here, then I will get my final result is 9,700. All right, what if the examiner only want to use these four digits 
They only want to use these four digits and then what you can do over here is like this. Right, so if I only want to use these four digits, right, I want to find the total. I will, use, I will do the similar pattern also. That means I will find the total and then I will minus uh, the number of ways which I do not want. All right, so the total over here, I have four digits, zero, I have four digits, zero, one, three, and one. All right, so if I want to arrange this four digits, basically it's four factorial. But because the one actually is repeating, and then we have how many one? We have two one over here repeating, so it's divided by two factorial. Alright, if you ask me why divide by two factorial, when you go when you go to STPM, you definitely you will learn about permutation for the repetition cases. So you basically you see how many letter you repeating, you need to divide that number factorial. So therefore, when I first see this question, I straight away think this one is an STPM question because in SPM you shouldn't have the number uh, which is repeating. Of course, still a lot of smart student or teacher argue that actually you can do separately, I mean you actually test it out one by one until the end you still get the correct answer. Yes, they are right, but then because there, there are so many different permutation questions they can use, I'm not sure why they want to use the number which is repeating. Yeah, they can come out a lot of different permutation questions, which is quite hard, but it is still in SBM syllabus. So maybe the examiner find out this way can make the exam paper more challenging, I guess. Okay, let's continue here. So over here, 4 factorial is 24, 2 factorial is, tw is 2. So my total is 12 way. Alright, then I want to minus the way 1 followed by 3. So definitely is 1, 3 over here. If I put a 1 and 3 here, I only left the 2 number over here, right? The 2 number here, I can actually arrange them so it's 2 factorial. And then this is 1 times 1 times 2 factorial. Alright, so if I do the 1, 3 and the middle, so definitely you know this is the first one is 2 factorial. So this one is 2 factorial as well. Alright, so if the 1, 3 at the last place, last two places over here, this is another 2 factorial. Because what? The 1 and 3 must be in, the, in this position. That means you can arrange these two numbers, right? Because you only have these four digits over here. So therefore, it's another 2 factorial. So 2 factorial is 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2, 2 is 6. So 12 minus 6. So your final result should be, you only have 6 number, uh, which doesn't, which fulfill this condition. Uh, yeah, the passcode cannot consist of digit 1 followed by digit 3. If you want me to list out these 6 number, I think it's possible. Um, okay, let's try to list this out. Uh, yeah, it's, so we can have something like um, 0, 3, 1, 1. Because this one is 3 followed by 1, it's not 1 followed by 3. And then we can have uh, 0, 1, 3, 1. Okay, or we can have 1, uh, 0, 3, 1. All right, we should have six, 6 of it, right? So let's try other number. We still can have, if we start with 3. Yeah, start with 3 should be good. So we have 3, 1, 1, 0. We can have 3, 1, 0, 1. And we can have 3, 0, 1, 1. Alright, so yeah, this is all the 6 possibility, which the number uh, 1 doesn't follow by the 3. So, yes, so when I see this 3 mark question, I'm, str I'm struggled a bit because, because what I think the question actually try to mention, like, try to make more clear what they want. But maybe I don't have a very good English, so maybe I, I cannot like fully understand about these questions. So if you know better any like specific keyword I miss out or any part actually I misunderstanding, yes, please post a comment below and let me know what you think. Anyways, I really hope this video can help you understand better about permutation, no matter you are SPM student or you are STPM student. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.